The official Chapter 5 Season 2 Battle Pass skins just got revealed. The new Season 2 Battle Pass trailer and free V-Bucks before Season 2 launches, I'll show you how to unlock for free. Even this secret reward nobody showcased, you'll need to know and I'll explain everything. Do you need the Season 2 Battle Pass for free? 90% of you watching are missing out, so be sure to like today's video now and make sure you're subscribed to enter. Fortnite's newest update added so many Season 2 leaks, new mythic weapons, boss animations, and more. The TNT Tina bow just got a new buff, with a drum gun getting new animations added to the files relating to Midas finally making his way back into Season 2. Considering new files related to Midas also has attachments to a new Floor is Lava LTM codenamed inside the files, being that Season 2 has confirmed to be a Greek mythology season, the Midas live event we once had has more core relations to him that's starting to make more sense which the king midas definition states he's remembered as a greek mythology for his ability to turn everything he touches into pure gold clearly the same midas that has been introduced from fortnite all the way back from chapter 2 season 2 in which he can turn everything he touches into gold oro being a part of midas's revenge set they added his new epic game skin survey tied into the season 2 battle pass being a version of this skin most likely having ties into a new storyline character inside of this season. Upcoming storyline narrative quest is the takedown quest, the takedown the society to rescue Peely, and the place a missing banana sign for Peely. So I'll showcase to you all of the new storyline quests you'll need to complete. The missing Peely posters have been inside of chapter 5 ever since the beginning, but in our recent update, we've now just received a brand new poster that was just added to the files. Seems that the Peely poster quests, in which our 6 total quests are going to be tied into place a missing banana sign for Peely and those are correlated to the brand new posters that were just updated in the files that we'll have to locate around the Fortnite island. Which as you know the underground versus the society factions have been a major part of this season and it seems to be that the underground is going to be finding a way to rescue Peely back from the society faction. Earthquakes have now been added back to Fortnite chapter 5 in which you can see have been added inside of the files but what's even more interesting thing is this faction called the compass rose was actually the main reason behind the earthquakes and that is actually a faction that sloan had a major part in sloan has a major part on why peely is missing and what you guys can see a new theory has now stated valerie's in search of ancient artifacts one of which is speculated to be pandora's box and what you guys can see is a new curse she's wanting to unopen and here's an actual loading screen that makes a lot of sense as to why that's the case and you can even see that jones is in the outside of this actual laboratory which is interesting because if you see from this image from the last earthquake event there's actually this logo on a computer inside of a laboratory ego being a new code named added to the files being goat in greek and this is also a new boss that is coming up being that it's most likely the god of the sky and thunder being zeus this new animation in itself was added to the files in which when he spawns into the island this is what is going to happen most likely also adding a mythic ability inside of the actual boss in himself meaning he's most likely going to be added to the fortnite battle pass for season two so be sure you're on the lookout for that it's going to be quite interesting to see here's a new teaser image in which you guys can see fortnite battle royale chapter 5 season 2 myth being a correlation to the greek mythology season season 2's official release is now march 8th which interesting enough kung fu panda 4 is now releasing on the same exact day and this is a collaboration a lot of people have wanted and it kind of makes perfect sense because in our prior seasons we had transformers which actually did release the movie of the actual season it was implemented in so could kung fu panda be a brand new skin added to the files that's something i would love to see happen and it's very very likely the major hints around the theme being a greek mythology is our current maps art style and theme which has also already been showcased on the actual fortnite island for season one and also being that we have tons of code names already inside the files related to Cerberus and also Zeus so this is obviously a very good correlation as to new NPCs and also brand new bosses alongside battle pass outfits all being added for season 2's battle pass 
Fortnite OG is coming back for season two, and it seems to be as if a brand new mode in itself, which is going to be separate from season two's overall theme, but it's also going to be a brand new mode we're going to be able to play, in which you guys can see a new tag has been added for a playlist to be implemented to season two. So this is going to be so cool, and I can't wait for the fact that Fortnite OG is finally returning to Fortnite, in which they've already stated they wanted it to return in 2024, but just in a different style. So it looks to be that we're going to be getting it as soon as March 8th, the release of Season 2. The TMNT Part 2 collaboration is almost here, and what you guys can see, we're going to have a new event pass, which has now been leaked, a mythic item with supply drops, a brand new landmark for emotes, and the pizza party being unvaulted as a new item. Now, we've already been seeing the landmark for quite a while now, in which you guys can see there's going to be two total phases to the actual landmark, and there's also going to be an event pass that is correlated to the actual item shop. So there's going to be three total phases, in which is obviously as we get closer to the final phase is when the event is going to fully start, and which is already showcased, we're going to have the Shredder skin being added to Fortnite, and which is a skin that I thought was going to come for quite a while now, considering it's a major part of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, this will be a brand new collaboration coming up within the next few weeks considering it has also stated that inside of 28.20 is when the collab should release because there's still a few things that are missing related to quests and challenges but we have a really cool thing coming from april as a new npc as well just added to the fortnite island in this recent update you can see talk to april hide in sewer entrances visit the underground hq find empty pizza boxes visit name locations travel distance on foot these are new quests that just got added to the files related to this collaboration that we're going to be able to get some free rewards attached to with fncs just around the corner they've now not only just added the encrypted lego variant of the skin we're going to be able to unlock and what you guys may have noticed stashed just recently added to the item shop is a similar skin that we're going to be getting for the fncs skin which you guys can see at the end of february is when this event is going to occur in which we're going to be able to get a ton of money but not just that four total cosmetics being the skin back bling pickaxe alongside the wrap so here's a full overview of all of the battle pass skins implemented to season two which i just think zeus is a major battle pass outfit alongside a new missing peely skin and also just having tons of different zeus god and also greek mythology skins i think those are obviously the major ones that we're going to touch on in this video today but let me know your thoughts on this and let me know your thoughts as well related to this trailer playing here in the background regards to Sloan capturing Peely and pretty much being related to that overall because in my personal opinion I think Sloan has a bigger overall story based upon his disappearance and I think he's obviously maybe just being trapped from Sloan and the society in itself not just the underground is going to have to capture him back but we're going to have to do something related to those Peely poster quests to pretty much discover where he is this entire time let me know you guys overall thoughts related to everything here in today's video a lot to unpack and a lot to cover and i just wanted to talk about everything as well let me know your thoughts drop a like subscribe hit the bell and i'll catch you guys on another season two video here on the channel peace out have a good one take care